Hey guys, sorry I haven't uploaded a video in a while. Um, I've been really busy with life. Um, I've got a couple of things to talk about in this video. Uh, first of all, I'll get uh, the update to this camera, the PXWX70, out of the way. There's uh, new firmware, firmware version 3, and you can find that on the website. I'll send you the link um, in the information part. Now that will take your 4K if you've got the 4K upgrade and it will upgrade the 60 megabits per second limit on that to 100 megabits per second. So per um, cell of the Quad Full HD um, you are getting in um, approximately 25 megabits per second of detail going into that. So that will match up quite nicely with the AVC HD. Um, although I would rather it was 200 megabits per second so it would work nicely with the 50 megabits per second 1080 that you can get on this thing. Uh, 50 megabits 1080 is still good so if you haven't upgraded to 4K I wouldn't recommend it because it's absolutely fabulous just filming at 1080 and it's never going to be necessary to shoot in QFHD. Anyway, a uh, quick uh, argument about that. Uh, I don't even know why they call it 4K because it's not it's not 4K. It's um, you know two times 1080, two times 1920. It's quad full HD. You know it, it doesn't even reach 4K. There is a setting after that which the cinema regards as 4K. So this camera doesn't shoot 4K. It is a lie. Uh, but anyway, um, waffling aside. I've been working several jobs at the moment and I'm bringing up my son which is not easy. Um, basically I do work as a composer so I'm doing com some composing. I do some work as a carer so I do some caring. I do some work as um, a cinematographer so there's some cinematography stuff. Um, although I haven't been using that one I've been playing around with Black Magics recently. I don't like them. They suck and they're horrible cameras, but this one's a beauty and I love this one. I even took out my old um, Panasonic uh, AF-101E uh, a while back. That was quite good, um, but I'm waffling, I'm waffling. Um, what else am I doing? I'm also doing a little bit of work here and there for an advertising business as well, so I'm really bogged down with crazy at the moment. Um, on top of that, I'm writing a film. Now this may interest a couple of you guys out there who are also making films and everything, but I'm using the te um, PXW X70 to film this one, um, and I'm using a lot of royalty-free images and things like that because there are some shots that I just can't get, and I can't be, I, I can't do my own CGI very well. But it looks absolutely awful, so, so yeah, um, I'm not going to be using that anyway. Um, that's one of the reasons I'm really, really busy. I've got a really good script at the moment and I'm just trying to make it all tie together. I've got a decent cast of all the people who've um, worked with me all the way up. I've got a couple of stars here and there. You may be able to spot them. But we're hoping to um, have a good film out by the end of next year. So that, that should be really good. Anyway, if there's anything that you want me to talk about in videos, etc., you're always welcome to leave a comment, etc. I'll try and get back to you. Or I might try and start addressing them in a video. Because that might make you, as the subscribers, feel slightly more important. So I tell you what. Um, if I can get 10 comments... I will respond to them all in a video, and um, if I don't get 10 comments, um, I won't uh, respond to them in a video. I'll just do them individually if the thing lets me. It doesn't usually let me do that, so anyway. Um, it's really, really nice to be back talking to you again. I'm sorry I don't do it enough, and um, yeah, wish me luck, because uh, this is an insane project undertaking. And um, to all of you out there who have got the PXWX70, it is a really good camera. And to those of you thinking about getting it, I've had this camera for a little while. Got I started playing with one which belonged to my mate. Uh, I would highly recommend this camera. It is a beautiful piece of equipment. And if I look at what I spent on the Panasonic AF-101E, this camera's value is at least 10 times better. I'm not even joking there. It's insane, the difference. Absolutely insane. I mean, I do like the AF-101E, don't get me wrong, but Panasonic have just, they've let me down. They've let everybody down. I see all these videos everywhere where people are praising Panasonic, and I think, why? Haven't you ever seen another camera before? All right, and my experiences, I've always liked Canons, but I have never really wanted to have one. I don't, I don't like the feel of them, if that makes sense.
Also Nikons, I love Nikons. Nikons are really good for filmmaking. The D800 was used to film um, Dexter. I mean, when you look at that, and you see the level of quality. I mean, I know they used an Arri Alexa for the outside shots, but the thing is, the 800 is a small camera. It's not massive. It's not super duper. It's not even as good as the one which I'm shooting myself on now. But the thing is, there's so many people out there and they're constantly talking about their size and their rear dipic and their lenses on it. It's like, how are you going to fit that in a car? What, are you going to use that for a crash cam? Or whatever. The thing is, nobody... Anyone can tie in decent cam. Any camera that you get in the couple of hundred quid is decent, you know. So, you know, don't get blown away with buying a friggin' monster. Because in a couple of years, you'll have a handy cam that can do everything that monster can do. You know, it's happened before. I mean, now look at the Viper Film Stream camera. That's still friggin' amazing. That, that shoots 720. 720, four, four, four. Oh, I'd rather have that than this one. No offence, camera. I like you, but... Not as much as I'd like a fiber film stream. If I had one of them, I'd be filming with them every single time. 720, I don't care. That If I get a good quality of 720, I mean, high definition te television streaming, that's streaming to me in 720. Uh, if I'm shooting on, um, you know, if I'm shooting a film for DVD, that's streaming in 720. Uh, D DVD, um, that that's um, 576, I believe. And um, Blu-ray, 720 will work fine for that. So when you think about it like that, who really needs quad full HD? Who needs 4K? Who needs any of this stuff? I mean, you feel like you need it because everyone else has got it, but you don't. I mean, it's better to get a higher level of quality for what you're getting. That I mean, this camera does... Um, 422 um, in 1080. Uh, it does 420 in QFHD, which means that I'm missing some of the stuff that I could use for chroma keying. You know, I am reducing every. I'm redu basically reducing all of the, um, but all of the good parts of uh, the the. Oh, sorry. I'm reducing the quality of the image in order to get a higher resolution. Now, whilst I can make the resolution smaller, think of it like this, right? You got four pixels. You got a red, a white, a blue, and a green pixel. Okay. Now you're going from 4K to 1080. All of those pixels go together. What color pixel do you get out of the image? And how accurate is that in your finished product? I mean, when you zoom in or if you're looking at it up close, you can tell if it's been zoomed in. A while back, um, I shot a video in seven seven twenty. My friend Malik said to me, "You've used a um, you've zoomed in post in this, and I can tell." I said, "Well, how can you tell? I could have just used the zooming thing on the camera." He says, "No, I can see the quality of the pixels deteriorating." Now, the thing is, if somebody like that can see it, any film critic who you know is full of spite, like my friend is, uh, will be able to pick that sort of thing up. And to be honest, it's like. You should be good enough with your camera anyway to not have to, to do that. Although it is kind of interesting and you can get some good effects out of it. So I'm not going to lie there. There are some advantages, but just not ones that I would generally use. Anyway, waffled far too long. I'll try and upload more videos if you're interested in that. If not, um, I will probably try and get on with things. Uh, I've been looking after my kiddo recently, which is really stressful because he screams all the time. He's uh, two years old almost. So that's going to be really stressful. Anyway, um, you guys take care. Have a really good day. And yeah, leave if you've got any questions, leave them down. If you want me to address any topics, etc. I will try and make separate videos to address those topics. I want to get more videos out. I just don't feel like I've got the time. And because I've got not don't have the time to look up things which I would want to make videos on, if I can make a video quickly and just boff it out for you, um, th then I'll do that. That's that's groovy. Also, with the advertising business um, that I'm looking into at the moment, with the things that I'm learning there, I might be able to help you um, getting through advertising things like Kickstarter projects, things like that. Because I, I for even though I'm going to self-fund my own film, because I, I don't really, um, I'm just going to try and grab a little bit at the end, uh, just to boost, finish it off. I want to create some good stuff for everybody. I want people to be happy and I want 
to release this for the world so that everyone can see it. I'd ideally like to put it on YouTube, although the amount of claims that I'll have against the royalty-free content is going to be insane, um, even though that they will be completely supported by the companies. Uh, I will do a d limited DVD release for uh, you guys if you are interested. Um, but I don't intend to use this one to make a load of money, just to make everyone that I work with famous. So yeah, wish me luck guys, I'm gonna need it. Anyway, this video was shot on the PXWX70. It was shot in QFHD at 100 megabits per second. Thanks Sony. You know what Sony, I appreciate the firmware updates you give. I know that you gave me a camera that was subpar at the start, but um, you're building it up and making it better and it's all good at the moment and I love you guys. Anyway, take care, bye.